was 41-year-old jazz musician Adrian Sykes from Bristol. Adrian fell into the jazz scene after art school and was soon making a precarious living busking and doing pavement art on the streets of Europe. He went on to play in bands up and down the country until recently deciding to go back to art to see whether he's got what it takes to make it as a professional artist. The chance to make some cash by selling his work at our exhibition is just the break he needs. So great, great adventures. Yeah. Um, but now are you, are you sort of saying to yourself, I'm going to take this seriously? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. It's something that I've wanted to do and certainly progressively over the last few years I've really... It's, it's been my main uh, passion. What a difference, then, would it make to make our exhibition, then? I think, apart from, obviously, exposure and all that side of it, to have the sort of confidence um, that you get from other people believing in you is, is enormous. OK, if you sold, uh, uh, what would you spend the money on? Um, I think I would, well, I would love to do some more travelling and combine that with art. Brilliant. Well, I'm intrigued. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Good I'm luck. Good to meet you. The judges are through that door. Cheers. Thank you. As a former pavement artist, Adrian must be used to people walking all over his work. But he'll be hoping for a very different reaction in today's hanging committee. He submitted this huge pencil drawing of London, which he hopes will impress the judges. Hi Adrian, welcome to Hanging Committee. Thank you. Would you like to say something about your drawing? Yeah, um, the drawing is called Some Kind of London, and it's been, um, been an ambition of mine to try and tackle London, to try and make this kind of huge and imposing city into something more of a, an imaginative and personal portrait. Um, it took about a year to do, sort of a year to draw. So, um, yeah, quite a few pencils were. <laughs> <laughs> what value do you put on this? Um, I'd put, I'd like to put twelve and a half thousand on it. Okay. That's great. Well, I think we definitely need to have a close look at this one. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Twelve and a half thousand pounds is one of the higher valuations we've had on the show. But for a year's work, I would say that's a bargain. The judges are now scrutinising every brick and alleyway in the drawing, and Adrian is looking suitably nervous. Yeah. It took you a year? Yes, it took me over a year doing And you're charging 12,500 quid for it. Mm -hmm. The rich will like this. <laughs> uh, so make them pay. Make them pay. Charge twice as much. <laughs> That kind of advice must be music to Adrian's ears. Double your money, my friend. Adrian, this is your idiosyncratic view of London from your mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, see, you are using a city I know and love and have lived in for 20 years. Yeah. But everything's in the wrong place. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm looking at Big Ben and going, it's too small. Or I'm looking <laughs> at the Shard and going, but Tower Bridge isn't there. You know, when I'm looking, I'm going, and the point of moving them is... Mm. I am like a kid in a sweet shop with this. I absolutely love it. You will make an absolute fortune with this by reproducing it and, and selling it in, in, in many different ways. Mm. That is extraordinary praise from our resident art dealer, Roy, who's quick to spot the commercial potential. But Charlotte seems to be getting lost with the landmarks. If Adrian wants to navigate his way to the exhibition, he needs another ally in David. It's very quirky and charming the way you've changed things, but I'm just not sure it's sufficient. Mm -hmm. So, it's time for a vote, and whether this should be in our exhibition or not. Adrian has spent a lifetime scraping by. Now, vast sums of money are nearly within his grasp. His dream of travelling and making a living from his art could be decided in the next few seconds. Adrian, I will start. I think I've already made it clear. Yes. It falls into a chasm between cartography and art for me, I'm afraid, so no. I don't think there's enough art in this. I really don't. 
but it's a talking point. So let's see what the public thinks. Yes. Two yeses. Adrian is over the first hurdle. He's backed a spot at the Mall Galleries and the chance to sell his quirky view of London for more than he ever dreamed it could be worth. Good call, David. I will go to the Ock Exhibition just for this alone. The question now is, will anyone want to buy Adrian's drawing? <laughs> The Mall Galleries, London, and Adrian's drawing of the UK's capital city was looking right at home. The exhibition was open to the public, art dealers and critics, and Adrian and his picture were the centre of attention throughout. I love this idea that looks like an old painting, but it's contemporary London because there's the wheel. I love the compressed view of London. I know there's lots of landmarks in there, and the, the longer you sit and look at that picture, the more there is in it. But would anyone want to buy Adrian's drawing? He took the judge's advice and upped his guide price from £12,500 to £24,500. The public were invited to make sealed bids to an independent agent who would take a 10% commission on sales. The results of the bidding were handed to me in a sealed envelope to be revealed to the artist and the public on the final day of the exhibition. Until I opened that envelope, even I didn't know what bids had been placed. Here we go then. Yeah. Moment of truth. Right. OK. 24,500 is what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. We only had one offer. OK. Despite the fact that it was the talk of the town, basically. <laughs> And it was for 5,500. Mm. Mm. The crowd aren't happy with that. The crowd aren't happy with that. <laughs> and yeah. uh, I can see your family friends all going, mm. <laughs> how do you feel about that? Well, it's still a lot of money to have, you know, to sell a piece of work uh, at that much. But um, I, think, uh, I think certainly for the amount of work and the time that it took me, I don't know whether that quite reflects, you know, those, those hours. So you're going to turn that down? I think I will, actually. Yeah. I think I will. Although it would be a good night out with a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, it's been a real pleasure yeah. meeting you. You too, yeah. You too, um, give him a hug. I'm sorry we don't have any cash for you, Mummy. <laughs> so, baby, give him a cuddle. Adrian may not have sold, but shortly after the show, he was invited to display his work at a group exhibition in Hertfordshire and has since sold a number of prints of his drawings. Thank you.